What is going on, everybody? Mr. Viola here, and welcome back to our mega modded Paradise Pugnacia shiny four world myth. I can't even label all the mods series. Uh, guys, I've been busy. I've been super duper busy. I know I've been saying that every day lately, but uh, let's just say stage two of our base upgrade has begun and is underway. Uh, yesterday was stage one. We kind of kind of reshaped everything. Stage two, you can already see a few little bits and bobs behind me, but we'll get to that in a second. Last episode, we went on a quest. Well, we, we, we did a bunch of things, but uh, it involved a quest looking for some black pearls. We struggled to find these black pearls and in the process lost our most valued dinosaur. Dark Moat, our amazing Speedy McGee of a Quetzal. Well, I went back and I reviewed the footage. It turns out that he got into a little bit of a, a little bit of a tiff, a little bit of a one-on-one -on -one with a wyvern. Well, how do I know this? I looked at the shadows. Yes, have a look at these shadows. Look at them. Oh, look at that. Yes, he was defending our honor against a wyvern trying to attack from above. And in the process, uh, lost himself. But it's all good because I found him. There he is. <laughs> he was, uh, he, it wasn't too far away, to be honest. He was just up in the sky, uh, just above the island somewhere, really. So we flew over, we found him, we located him, and we brought him back home in one piece. And he's a, he's a good old boy, aren't you, buddy? Yes, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? <laughs> are you even a boy? Show me. Are you a... Oh, no, it's a girl. Oh, you're a good girl. Sorry, sorry. I should be used to this by now. Now that I got a female dog, I got a wife, I got a daughter. I'm used to saying good girl and not good. Anyway, it don't matter. It doesn't matter, guys. Welcome back. Uh, I guess it's time to unveil. <laughs> I'm so excited. The base. It's not completed yet, all right? So don't get your hopes up that you're going to get like a completed base reveal, but you may already be able to see from the outside that things have changed. Mainly pillars, a lot of, a lot of pillar placements, um, but hey, it really like gives some depth to the build, I think. I think it looks bloody fantastic. Um, I then went, obviously we got a ramp. This is makeshift because I struggled to jump into my base, but we're still going to try. Um, for some reason, it let me place some weird foundations around here. So I kind of decided to start stacking them to give like a really weird entry vibe going on. And it actually turned out really, really nicely. So instead of just having a regular gate, a gate which I might even pull out now because I don't think it actually serves much of a purpose. Uh, we got these cool little like foundation cutouts type things going on here. Basically uh, a bunch of triangles and a bunch of, a bunch of pillars. All in all though, I think it looks really, really cool. I don't even know how I did it. And I don't want to have to recreate it because it was really, really difficult to get right. But I think that looks darn awesome. But that's just the beginnings. Let's keep going. So as we come through the grand old entry gate, you come across this. Now, I did show you the original cutouts of this yesterday. We kind of just had this little like lower platform and that was it. We didn't really have it dropping down to anything else. But I'm going to fill this with water. Yeah, I don't know. And, and we got these little like grass blocks. Oh, and we brought our little gorilla in here as well. <laughs> um, I'll show you why because we completely teared up the whole back of this base anyways uh what have we got on we got a lot of these little like pillar lamp type fiery thingamabobbies fire bowls i guess you can call them they really set the mood set the tone for the base and they they offer some really nice lighting as well i think um we've gone ahead and completely reshaped this area in here as well so we got uh there's a lot going on the gate's been removed and now we kind of just got a little bit of i don't really know but it, it looks so much better it looks, it looks proper, man. I, I feel like an expert builder after building this thing. It's pretty, uh, I'm, I'm pretty psyched about it, to be honest. I'm really, I've, I've like outdone my own expectations. I hope I've outdone your expectations too. Anyways, here's my little bedroom. Work in progress, okay? Don't judge too much, but um, I've got a hand. I got these pillars. I don't know why it let me place these pillars popping out of the ceiling. Uh, we've got this like, oh, that is going to upset me. Oh, no. Oh, oh, that is just mildly infuriating right there. That one little pillar, not where it needs to be. That's going to be so hard to get into the right place. It gets so hard when it comes to tinkering these things into like the perfect positions that you want. Um, but yeah, then we got these big ones around the outside. And yeah, I struggled to place one there as well. It did not want to let me place a pillar right there. For some reason, the other six of them or five of them are fine. That sixth one didn't want to place. So yeah, we'll see how we go, I suppose. I don't really know. That's the bedroom though. We turn our attention now to our little tech area. Pretty much identical to what you saw yesterday, except now it has pillars in the walls. Oh, pillars, yay. There's so many dumb pillars. <laughs> I've actually run out of resources, so i got to go and collect some more stone and stuff now. Um, oh, yeah, in here. Have a look at this. More pillars. But I've gone ahead and opened the roof up. Why? I have no idea. It adds absolutely nothing to it, but I thought it looks cool. It really opens up the room a little bit more, and we get this nice light shining in, even though I did plan to, like, put a ceiling in there. I just wanted to make it a little bit taller. I might even put some glass panes through the back there. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how we go. But uh, yeah, that's our little tech room over here. This has slowly become... Oh yeah, I scrapped the old little uh, platform over there. 
We've gone and replaced it with... Uh, nothing. It's like a circle. It's part of a circle. Kind of like a circle. And it's just got our little crafting benches and that sort of jazz for now. That's all it is. Work in progress. This is just so I can actually do stuff while our base is yet to be completed. Um, oh, yeah. And we got this little, like, bridge section. Don't know why. I just thought it looks cool. So I'm going to place this as with wood, I think. And, uh, yeah, you can just... I don't know. It's just another way to get around. But we've got this nice little, like, watery area. Little... Uh, I don't know what you call this. It's like a swimming pool. It's like a lap pool. We can we can go swimming. We can do a little bit of a butterfly. We can do some uh, some backstroke. Except it doesn't let me do that. We can uh, we can. What else can we do? We can we can. Oh yeah, we can just we can just laze here in the sun, just just staring up at the sky. We can do whatever we want. But yeah, this is our little water area. I don't know. <laughs> It's just a thing. Uh, and basically, down this direction, I've, I've kind of got a little, another little doorway here. And we're just going to extend this for quite some while a little bit. I just want like a, a plain old strip. I just wanted some straight lines so that I can place... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I forgot about this. This is my little structure table, by the way. Uh, so I can place... Oh. Oh, no. Why did I hit the wrong button? Anyways, so I can place some big old... These things. What are these things called again? things oh there we go yeah uh aquariums right yeah so now we got straight walls so we can place them in our base this triggered me originally i couldn't i had no like straight walls because everything in here is like curved so far so now we got a big old aquarium with like a mosasaur and an artifact and a shark a megalodon and uh oh gosh i always forget what these guys are called uh i always forget what these guys are called but manscore over there has a an odd fascination with this guy <laughs> Look at him just staring at the fish. He's like, mm, 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 mm. I could go me one of those right now. I can't for the life of me remember what it's called. But uh, anyways, uh, we, this will be kind of... Whoa, what happened there? Why did I stop running? That's better. Yeah. Um, and yeah, there's going to continue as well over this side too. So up from above, let me give you a bit of a bird's eye view because it's one thing to see it from down below, but it's another thing to make it look cool from above. So this is what it looks like from up here so far. Um, obviously, it's work in progress. I don't know how many times I'm going to say that, but it is. Um, but I thought it, it, it kind of looks quite nice from out here because it's not just a, it's not just straight walls and stuff. It's It's got a little bit of depth to it now. But yeah, I'm really, really psyched. I'm really happy with how it's going. I'm hoping to have more progress ready to share with you guys tomorrow. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see. Hopefully I get some time because this took me like five hours this morning just to, well, probably more to be honest. Yeah, probably more. I literally, as soon as I wake up, yeah. It's been like oh, six or seven hours that I spent building on this today. Um, all right, let's 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 do something, right? So while I was doing all of this, would you believe we had a few shinies show up? Yeah, we had we had two shinies. We had two shinies. We had, we had one. Um, oh, what was it? Something weird. Oh, it was a, a Lystrosaurus. No, not Lystrosaurus. What are the big old... The watery guys who have all the mantas attached to them. I think it was one of those. And the second one was the Ferox again. Well, have a look at this, right? Have a look at this. Oh, all right, well, the, the Ferox and the other thing are gone, but we've got an Amazon Manta instead at uh, Latitude 2, Longitude 2. Damn, that is like forever away. Uh, I guess we could go try and find it. Maybe. P -p Perhaps. Uh, Manticore. Something in the comments told me today that you can you can swim, apparently. So let's, let's put that to the test. C can you actually swim? Uh, I think 2-2 two -two is over in this direction, right? I really got to get myself a new um, GPS. I don't know what happened to my GPS. Anyways, we got some we got some levels in this guy too. So let's go and get his speed up a little bit. I'm going to regret this because now he's going to be way too fast to control. Um, let's get his... Uh, why is... What's with... The, oh, you're hungry? Oh, I've got no food. I'm sorry. All right, let's get that health up a little bit as well. And then we'll get you nice and healed up. That way you will be an absolute devastator of a machine. All right. Eat that. It's going to drain your food. I'm sorry, buddy, but... Just the way it goes. We'll get you some meat in a second. Okay. So we're heading out into the... My gosh, the brightest... No, we're not. We're going to run into a wall. Okay. Oh, gosh. The wavens have taken over the winter area as well. Uh, of course they have. Of co oh, I'm going the wrong way. Wrong way. Flip it around. Turn it around. Let's keep going over this way. Oh, yeah. So apparently these guys can swim. Who lied to me? <laughs> You're meant to be able to swim. I guess you can't swim. Oh, that's so disappointing. Or at least he didn't fly away like Dark Mode did. Yeah, that guy just abandoned me and left me to die. I guess it wasn't his fault. My fault. So, yeah, let's find this corner. I think we found the corner. Um, I don't know how deep this mantis is going to be, but I guess let's just fly into the water and see how we go. 
Uh, we're probably at zero, zero. So it's going to be a little bit further inland. That's what I mean. GPS would be really handy right about now. And dive it in. All right. So, oh, actually, I just remembered something. I can do this. Yeah. So I don't like wearing this because I think it kind of like obstructs your view quite a bit. But it's, um, it's really, really handy. I reckon that's it right there, that little green fella. But it's handy because it lets you breathe underwater. So I don't need to drown. Probably still going to get attacked by a bunch of stuff. But hopefully we'll be okay. Uh, what do we got? That's a massive shot. Oh, it's a lead. That's what it was. The lead stitch. We had a shiny version of one of those, not a Basilosaurus. So one of these mantas, I guess, there's so many down there. I bet you the shiny one's about to die. A Lepleurodon. That's the guy that's in our little aquarium. It's all coming back to me. It's been a long time since I've been down here in the sea. <gasps> He's in there. There's an Amazon manta in there. I saw it. There it is. Oh, yeah. ah, where is it? Where is it? It's there somewhere. Amazon Manta. It's going to get killed though, isn't it? I just got a bad feeling. But I think I just got a general bad feeling because I don't like the ocean. Um, he's going to die. There he is. There he is. There's that derpy looking guy. No! <laughs> oh, well, what did we expect? What did we expect? Hold on a second. While we're down here, this is where you're meant to get black pearls from, right? You need to kill those little Krabby Patty guys. Those little, uh, that thing. A prodigious Uriopted. Okay, that's my guy. That's what we need to kill. If I kill that, I get Black Pearls. If I get Black Pearls, I can get my tech. Oh, what's... Oh, that's another lead shit. If I kill this... Oh, he's so big, though. I'll get the Black Pearls. Black Pearls will let me get my chest piece. So, we got to be super careful about this. If I poke him with my pike, we should be good. But damn, look at the size of him. Ah, do, 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 do. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, we're good. He's knocked out. Good. All right. Obviously, I'm not worried about this guy killing me. What I am worried about is this guy uh, knocking me out. Because these guys deal a ton of torpor. Anyways, let's get him dead. You got anything on his body? No. Please give me black pearls. Uh, 96 of them. Nice. 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 That is perfect. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's exactly what I wanted. I didn't even intend to like go on an underwater adventure today. Like I didn't sit down today. And think to myself, you know what we need? We need black pearls. And you know where the best place to look is? The bottom of the ocean. No. No, I, I, I didn't. No. That's not even. Yeah, that wasn't even part of the plan. But I guess it worked out for the better. Um, let's just get to that surface. <laughs> this is why I want a chess piece. This is why I want this tech chess piece. In fact, it wasn't until I had that thought that I even thought about going down and trying to find a Yuri Upted, which there just so happened to be one of. Man, everything's just like, everything's just working out so far today. This is actually like it's, like, it's like a domino effect. Somebody just toppling those, but it's like a good luck domino. It's like a good domino, a domino of, of it's like a gift, gift worthy domino. Oh, not this. Oh gosh. Oh, uh, no, no, no. This is why I don't like tech helmets because they get funky like this and you don't want it to happen. It just happens on its own. Um, you can please come down and get me. Uh, whistle land. Wait, wait, he's not gonna land, you genius. All right. Now I gotta get him down. Why did I why did I even bother? We could have just we could have just toughed out the helmet goodness, but no. Also, I thought I meant to be able to like boost with my little leggings down here. Oh, he's not gonna come down for the life of him now. I'm honestly tempted to bowl on my own. Can I bowl on my manticore? No, nah, can't can't use this in the water. Also, apparently it's super duper cold out here, so that's just fantastic, isn't it? I have no way of getting him down. Um follow no i can't even tell him to follow closely can i let me just quickly update myself on the different whistle commands <laughs> cycle target okay number pad zero i never know this stuff so am i whistling number pad zero nope that one doesn't work number pad zero ain't doing a thing so doing a thing so what you're gonna make me swim to swim to shore i need to just come down whistle to land we're supposed to land. Hold on. Move closer to ride. It's telling me. It's giving me the notification. I'm so close. I'm so close. Oh, here we go with the like tapping of E again. Oh, man. This is a disaster. What, what was I saying about everything going our way so far today? I take it back. I take it all back. I misspoke. And if we just had... Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that is bad news bears right there. That, my friend. Oh, 
Oh, it's a Kraken boss. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. So not only do we have... Uh, uh, wait, what? Was that a Primal Dunkleo? I wonder if I could team that. I probably could. So this is this is another one of the Pugnacia endgame bosses. The Kraken. Uh, we got a Kraken down there. We got a Primal Dunkleo over there. And then over there, we have an Ancient Mosasaur. So we are surrounded with things that aren't very friendly. Uh, you know what? I'm not surrounded with. My buddy over here. I need... Oh, I'm going to die out here. I'm going to die. Oh, no. He's coming for me. He's coming. For, no, he's not. Okay. Manticore. If I just swim to the ground, I just sink. Is he going to try and get closer to me? Yes, he is. Oh, wait. Why didn't you just... You can't just spawn on me, Mosasaur. That's not how any of this works. But I think we've done what we got to do. And we are going to be A-OK. -okay. Yes. Okay. Ah, oh, 200 IQ play there, Mio. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. I should have come to that solution five minutes earlier. Yeah, minimum five minutes earlier. But it don't matter. We back on our way to base. Look at this HUD, man. I, I don't like the tech helmet. I, I don't like it one bit. I'm going to take it off. I'm going to go back to our regular old... Oh, what are you doing? You're so weird. You're so weird, man. It's cool. One minute you don't want to like go flying around, the next you just you can't even sit still. Anyways, let's get this thing happening, hey? We've got our black powers now, so we can officially, hopefully officially, I, ho I hope we've got everything that we need now. Uh, we should be able to get our tech chest. Let's have a look. Yeah, there it is. Also, what is with this sort of stuff? Oh, oh, tech hatch frames. Interesting. Well, I just want a chest piece. And we've got it. Uh, what else do I want? I want... What's the last piece of the puzzle that we're looking for? I need boots. So let's get those. And then full damage will be a thing of the... No! Oh, you... You're, you're an idiot. Oh, you're so dumb. You're so dumb. What are you doing? What are you doing? No. No. Oh, I just made a big mistake. I just made the biggest of errors ever. Can I grind these up? This isn't what I want. Oh, I can. And I need to get 28 black powers back. That's not what I want. I want, I want, oh, you're such a dummy. You're such a dumb. Oh, you started out so well. And this is how you're going to end it. This is how you get, this is what you're going to do to repay everybody for their patience. How am I four elements short? I've got, I've got 20 element. Don't tell me I got to go and kill another boss. If I got to go kill another boss, I'll go kill another boss. But I don't think I do. I think I just wasted all of our elements. Oh, I just wasted all of our elements. You're such a moron. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? You would have been fine. Element. No. No. Uh, hold on. Let me, let me pull all of that. Hold on. Hold on. It's not over yet. There is still hope. Check this in here. One, two, three, four. That should be it, right? That's all I need. That's all I need. Now we're just running low on shards, so I gotta go and find. I don't even remember where I got my shards in the first place. But um, okay. Let's see if we can do this. Come on. Come on, chest piece. Come on, tech chest piece. Yeah! Alright, we saved the day. It's all good. It's all gonna be okay. We don't have our boots. Oh, I can't even power it. I don't even have an element to power. I need I need to go kill another boss. Oh, I gotta go kill it. That's all there is to it. We need to go kill another boss. We could go down for the Kraken. By the way, whoever told me Manticore could fly underwater. Super disappointed. Super duper 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 disappointed. You lied to me. Or maybe you just didn't know any better. I don't know, okay? I don't know. Anyways, while we're here and before we set out from our base again, I got some dinosaurs to tame. I had some really, really cool suggestions in our recent episode that I just couldn't look past. Paradise Quetzal here, right? Our speedy McGee of a guy. Seriously, speed that you just cannot comprehend. Look how fast he is. Look at him. You just, like, one, one, one second he's there. The next second he's still there. In fact, he's still probably still there for another minute or an hour. Uh, anyways, we obviously have dark mode over here. And I feel like these two contrast each other quite well. Dark mode, very fast. Uh, this guy, not very fast. Dark mode. Quite pleasant to look at. This guy kind of hurts your eyes a little bit. Kind of like real life. If I were to go ahead and call him light mode. <laughs> yeah, that one there was a cool one from the comments. I couldn't look past it. I couldn't ignore it. He's got a cool name now. On top of that, I also... Oh, I had another cool name and I can't remember who it was for. 
Yeah. Can't remember. Oh, this guy here. Someone had a cool name for him. Explosive diarrhea. But we're just gonna keep him as Farty Fireface. Um. Oh dang. Oh, someone. We had a cool name for somebody. I can't for the life of me remember who it was though. So unfortunately, I guess that won't be getting named. All right. If you guys do have any cool naming suggestions though, just drop them into the comments, and I'll uh, I'll see how it go. Hopefully, I'll name some more dinosaurs soon. I keep I keep forgetting to do that. There's just so many comments on our videos lately that it's hard to actually find names. Like I scroll through a few hundred comments per video and there's not many names in the top of the comments. They're, they must all just get buried down to the bottom or something like that. I'm not sure, but there's just, there's just not a lot. That's all there is to it. It's kind of crazy, but uh, whatever. It's all good. I trust you guys. Give me some names. I need your names. Anyways. Let's go find, uh, let's go find, wait a second. That's, that's primeval. That's primeval phoenix. Ooh, 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 I want that. Oh, I want that. Oh, what just died? Hold on, wait, wait, something just, what, did, wait, what? Polar fur cap provides significant physical protection. Also keeps, wait, what? What is this stuff? Something died and I managed to get this set of fur armor. That's actually pretty badass. That's awesome. Okay. Well, I'm going to keep my tech gear for obvious reasons, but that looks... That, that is darn cool. That is really, really cool. All right. I think we're going to say scrap. I don't know. Are we going to scrap it? Because I kind of want to tame this. I don't think I've ever had a primeval phoenix before. I definitely haven't had one in this series. Or maybe I have. Maybe I haven't. I, like in previous worlds... The only thing is there is a guardian direwolf right there. And we learned the hard way the other day how tough those guys are. Yeah, those guys are probably one of the only dinosaurs that could actually kill me right this second. Well, you know, there are a few other ones around, but we'll just ignore those, including this guy right here. This guy could definitely kill me. Anyways, let's, uh, how do you knock out one of these guys again? I'm going to need either my manticore or I'm going to need, actually, wait, how much, oh, how much tool? I think we need manticore. We're going to grab our manticore. That's exactly what we're going to do. So, we'll grab our manticore. We'll go ahead and poke him a couple times. And we could also use our wyvern, actually. Oh, wicked. I'm going to use my wicked poison wyvern, actually. Yeah, he's, he's built for this stuff. We'll say, I keep, I keep thinking I've got to run over there to get my stuff. I really got to put a staircase over this side of the base, though, don't I? Anyways, uh, I got to get one of these, right? Satiating nutriments. We crafted up one of these the other day. Thankfully, uh, we got one handy. We don't have to go craft another one. Let's drop these while we're here as well. Oh, and before I forget, a little volcanic scorched elemental plate. We'll check that in here as well. Alrighty. So that's all we need. That's all we need. Uh, next thing is a poison dinosaur. And uh, after that, it's pretty much just up to us to hopefully nail down this phoenix. Get him tamed up and get him home safely. Also, I don't like how close this dodo rex is to my base. But I'm sure it'll be okay. Blaming Bronto, my dude. Noctis Brontosaurus, actually. And attempting to tame. Really quick. Ah, uh, nah, it's all good. All right. Phoenix. I can't look past this guy. Ooh, that is a beautiful looking Titan. Oh, that Titan is schmexy. Wow. Hello. Ooh, I want to tame that. I've never looked at a Titan and thought I want to tame that right now until I looked at this Titan. Damn, that is, that is gorgeous. You've got green on green, and then a nice little hint of pink in there as well. That is, like, that looks like it should be a legitimate dinosaur, right? Also, what is with this wyvern? What's his problem? Chronos fire wyvern. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. I thought it looked a little bit, like, weird and jacked up. Anyways, my dudes, where do you think you're going? I've got a present for you, Phoenix. I got a present for you. Take that. Oh. Oh. That's, that's, uh, sorry, Phoenix. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <gasps> it's another Armadron. Level 900. What? Hold on. Oh, oh I want to tape up another Armadron. All right, Phoenix. Wait. Oh, yeah, I did deal top to you. Good, good, good. I don't want to get hit by these fireballs because I don't know how strong they are. So I'm just going to sweep around whoop, and keep, keep on going. Keep it going. Keep it moving. All right. Nicely done. Nicely done. Nicely done. He doesn't have a lot of health. So we are going to have to be careful about this. Let's just slip around. Give him a little poke. And that should be that. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's such a cool animation. 
So for, the, for those of you who don't know, I don't think I've actually ever tamed up a vanilla Phoenix. I've just, I, I, I didn't really go too hard on Scorched Earth. Also, you better not. You best be gone, old Conflagrant Rex. Maybe I'll just tame you up as well. We'll take you home with me too. I'll take you home. Okay. Oh, hold on. Give me a pike out. Yeah, let's take you home as well. I've got to replace our other one. These guys are really handy for uh, spoiled meats. And we never got around to actually... Well, our other one died <laughs> due to our, our own stupidities. So let's just go chuck one of these in there. There we go. All right. Flagrant Rex tamed up. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. And now we got this guy here to take care of. The hard part is done. What's left for us to do is simply... Ooh. Oh, damn. This guy's a cooking machine. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. Oh, damn. Oh, he's, 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 a, he's a cooker across the forge. Wow. All right. Uh, let's, give him, let's just give him his satiating nutriment. Boom. Yeah. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. The double tame. Does it get any better? All righty. Well, just because I don't plan on heading straight back to base, I just want to go and pick these guys up real quick. And we'll drop them off in a second. But... Before we go back to base, also, what did you have on your body? Oh, oh, Phoenix Saddle. Okay, cool. Oh, lucky. I didn't know that. Um, all right, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. No, get inside of your Pokeball. Don't you, don't you disobey me. I might not have the gym leader badges that I need to control a Pokemon of your level, but just get inside of the Pokeball, darn it. Cool. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's cool looking Ankylo too. Damn, there's so many cool looking dinosaurs out and about today. So... What caught my attention just then was this guy right... Oh, gosh. There's a gorilla as well. All right. You can just bugger off, gorilla. But this guy. I haven't seen one of these guys in the wild since we tamed up ours, which is uh, just so happens to be chilling right over here. Where is he? Just right there. There he is. Our mage run. He's only level 272, though. This guy, on the other hand, this guy is level 900 and something. For those of you who don't know, this is uh, this guy here. It doesn't belong to Paradise or Pugnacia. He actually belongs to a completely different mod made by Shadloss and his team uh, called Grand Hunt that we'll be releasing publicly soon. Um, currently, it's just for his Patreon supporters while they smash out the bugs and that sort of stuff. Um, but this is the first creature to be added to that mod. It's kind of like a Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter based mod. If you remember the Monster Hunter mod that Riot every night, every day, Riot is. Uh, playing on his channel right this second so this is kind of like their own kind of like fake mon where people make their own pokemon this is kind of like i guess fake monster hunter creatures anyways this guy looks cool and i kind of want to tame him just for his levels alone because he looks absolutely he looks tough he looks tough but he kind of looks a little bit stuck as well so we'll just leave him be for now and head back home that guy looks so cool though those guys are awesome. I just... Not that I wish they were more powerful. Because they are powerful enough. They're just not powerful enough for uh, the mods that we're playing with. So they're more for a vanilla-ish type of setting. Like... I guess it's kind of like if you were to tame a regular strength... I don't know. Broodmother? Like a Gamma Broodmother or Megapithecus or Dragon? Like that type of difficulty. Vanilla difficulty, I suppose. Or like a vanilla giga. Like a level like 150 giga. Also, it looks like our uh, our buddy, little Ray Fiomia, he's still raving about on that water. I don't know what he's doing, but he's doing it. Good on you, buddy. And I guess it's up to us to go and release our two new friends. I can't even remember what we got. Oh, this guy. That's right. Okay. But memory. Memory bad. Memory bad. I'm naming this guy straight off the bat. Jo Jerky Joe the second. Jerky Joe the second. Mm -mm -mm. Jerky Joe the first died way too quickly. So it's only fitting that we give this guy a proper name. Jerky Joe, welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. Revived from the dead. That's what I'm talking about. And this guy. This guy. I have no idea what we're going to call you. But have a saddle. And make me some meat. Oh, that is quick. You know, I was just thinking today how much I need to go ahead and get myself a cooker. I guess we don't need that anymore. Or well, not a cooker, a grill. How much we need a grill. But uh, I guess that is no longer required. All right, let's see what you're capable of, big guy. Let's see what you can... Wait, oh, you're not flying. That's what's up. <laughs> so, I haven't spent much time with phoenixes in my time. But look at that meat get cooked up. That's what I'm talking about. It can cook pretty much anything, even metal. I want to put... I want to... I want to... 
Oh, you know what? I can just do this. Damn, that's fast. That's fast. That's cool. Uh, all right. What sort of damage are you... Actually, what are your attacks? Left click is a bite attack. Right click. Surely there's a fireball. Yeah. <laughs> These Prontos move so quickly. Yeah, it gets set on fire. Does he have a C attack? Oh, he does. I don't know what it did. Might be a pickup. Oh, this attack will kill the... Wait, no. Whoa, whoa, what? I don't know what I did. Don't press X. Don't press X. X just said something about this, this attack will kill Phoenix. I want to read it again. This attack will kill the Phoenix. Press again to continue. No, 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 no. Oh, boy. Oh, I want to see what it does, but I also don't want... Oh, gosh. Yeah, no, we can't. We can't do that. We can't do that. Oh, that would be devastating. Yeah, no, 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 no. We're not going to do that. I kind of want to park this guy in our little industrial chamber, though. Even though he's going to fill up the entire room. Because he's, he's an industrial machine, really. He's kind of like an industrial forge cross uh, a, a, a grill. <laughs> Except he's bigger than the room. Uh, yeah, okay, maybe not. You know what? I'll leave you there for now. Why not? Also, blaze targeting. Don't know what that is, but, but cool. Guys, we're going to call it a day right here. I think it's been a pretty cool one. If you just did enjoy this video, though, please go ahead, punch that thumbs up, and make it rain those thumbs ups. If you haven't yet done so, subscribe to the channel. We're shooting for 750,000 subscribers by the end of 2020, and we are we're on a roll, baby. We're going to get it, I believe, and I think a lot of you guys, too. So let's, let's go and bring it home. Let's bring it home strong in this final... Oh, still seven months to go. Oh, we've got plenty of time. Don't just worry. But most importantly, keep on smiling. Have a fantastic day. And I'll catch you next time. Bye. For now.